hello welcome to my latest video this one is kind of a sad video because it's the last video that you'll see my parents in for a while their trip has ended they're back in Canada they had a nice four days in Porto at the end of the trip and enjoyed themselves and really enjoyed themselves here and I have really loved going through all the footage and reliving the good times and this will be the final recap of their time here and what they did was amazing my dad really focused on the deck and my mom did loads and loads of things including completely revamping the garden and I really couldn't be happier getting to share the time with them and also uh, having them help me push my project forward so thanks mom and dad for everything I loved having you here and I can't wait for your next visit and I can't wait to show you guys the deck in detail and a tour around the garden as well and that's going to come at the end of the video so Let's just get straight into it. Uh, this one is a little longer than usual, but it's very fun. There's lots of social stuff towards the end and lots of uh, activity and work. And my friend Sinead also arrives in this one, so that's pretty exciting too. So I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you again at the end. Good morning, little dude. I'm just talking to the cat. My mom and dad are inside getting ready, putting some sweaters on and preparing to brave the cold weather. We had a really hot week last week and this week is seeming a little bit more overcast and a little bit chilly this morning, but I have no doubt it's gonna warm up later on. So my mom is finally going to have a crack at pointing. She's done lots of wall chipping and stuff but she's never done the final pointing so I'm gonna show her I'm gonna give her a little lesson and we'll get this part here looking more like that part are you excited to try pointing I'm very excited very excited the excitement on my face. yes you look a little cold but also I can see the excitement on your face Ooh. I'm gonna sweep out the pool get it ready to fill it up and I'm gonna open up <laughs> I don't think there'll be any plunging today and then I'm gonna open up the panels of the tank and hop in there, clean the tank, and connect some pipes and stuff so I can put the pump in once and for all and forget all about it. And I think my dad is gonna be working on a banister for the staircase and then other stuff after that, but I'm not sure. And Mikey is just over here. Waiting for me. Looking really cute. Exactly. So, We've got a lot on and I'm excited to get started. So the deck is looking good. What else have you still got to do? Oh, I've got to finish the finishing touches. I'm filling that hole, put proper supports on it, a little bit of a railing. And there's another hole over the other side. Got okay. Amazing. Anyway. Less talking, more working? A little less conversation, a little more action. <laughs> So I'm very excited by the number of limes on this tree, uh -huh. but I'm a lot less excited by the number of aphids on the tree. Well, hopefully this will kill them. So you've made a soapy solution, and just like spray it and I guess rub the leaves. I suppose that's what people have told me to do. Well, there's a lot of leaves to rub, <laughs> so... Or at least spray them, and Especially yeah. where you they're... spray, I'll rub. How about that? Teamwork Especially makes the dream work. Especially where you see them. So the pool is clean. Dad is working on reinforcing the stairs part, I think. Yeah. You're doing stuff over there. I'm about to go in here and try to give it a bit of a clean and then hook a pipe up from here to there so I can drain the pool from the outside. Hopefully my master plan works. And then the garden is in progress as well. My mom has hopefully wiped out some aphids with the soapy spray. And now she's getting some, some of the final plants in the ground. So we've got a little bit of, I think it's parsley and coriander. Yeah, we're not sure which. We're not sure which. We could give it a taste, but you know what? I don't have anything planned for this bed. And it seems like a nice little shady spot for them. And it seems like as good a spot as any. What do you think? <laughs> So I'm in the tank, I've connected the pool to the outlet over there, and now I'm working on hooking up the pump so that one of the T-junctions 
fires towards the garden, so I have an option for using the pump for irrigation. And then this one's going to be piped so it comes out from behind the plant over there and then runs up to the tanks so I can pump water and not have to be tripping over pipes in this space there. So there's a lot of stuff going on under here, including all of the work my dad's done, uh, stabilizing everything, putting in the reinforcement, and then the rendering and all of this stuff is getting covered up. But a lot of work has gone on below deck as well. So this bucket of lime, lime putty and fine sand has been sitting around for about two months. But the beauty of this stuff is you can just add water to it again as long as it doesn't get too crusty and you can easily, easily save it. So let's load my mom up with a, a small tray to start and I'm going to give her a lesson in pointing. Oh, man. Woo. Woo. Yay. <laughs> High five. <laughs> okay, so now the idea is we stick this stuff in these cracks so it looks like this stuff. So okay. this has been, the dirt's been clawed out already and it's been pre-packed with a different mix of coarse sand and lime putty and now we're doing the final render, I mean the final pointing, which is this stuff. So I'll give you a quick recap, Okay. and we'll get going. So we're gonna work here, so you could just give it a little bit of a brush. Okay. To get all the little bits away. <laughs> all right, let's go. These are not the tools of the trade. These are the tools that I use. And I use. And by default, you use as well, but it's not how it's supposed to be done. So we're kind of lucky because the gaps are really, really big. So all you need to do, and you keep this a little wet so it doesn't get too sticky. Okay. So we get the stuff and we stick it in the gap. And with this wall, we can probably come out a little bit more than, than this. We don't want to come all the way flush to the stone. I like to have a little bit of a recess. Mm -hmm. So having a bit of a gap so that it doesn't come all the way to the face of the stone. But you can probably put this a little bit more mm -hmm. here. Something like this. And you kind of smooth it off as best you can, push it in as best you can. Move it down as best you can. And it doesn't have to be perfect at this stage because we'll come and whack it with this brush once it dries a little bit. And when you have really big gaps, like for example here, well, I actually put a rock in there, so I'll find you a stone that might work in there. Okay. But for now, we're just focusing on, let's do these parts here. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Okay. How's that? Looks good to me. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you to it. You too, huh? Have fun. Okay. And over here, my dad's been waiting patiently to use the power tools. Yeah, things are coming together on the deck. And I'm really excited to see how this space ends up and especially to use it. And I think now I'm actually gonna go mix up some lime. It's a job I've been meaning to do for a really, really long time. I have these two bags of Calviva quick lime sitting here in the polytunnel. I'd love to get rid of them. So I'm going to turn them into some lime putty right now. So while mom and dad are working hard down in the water tank, I'm up here and I'm going to slake some lime. I've got the safety gear, mask, goggles, gloves, long sleeves, and basically I'm just going to add Calviva, which is also known as quick lime, into a bucket of water that I've already poured into the oil drum. It's gonna get really hot and bubbly. I'm gonna stir it around and I'll have some more beautiful lime putty on the go for future projects.
So once the powdery stuff is all in and the dust is gone, you can take off the mask, but you really need to protect your eyes with this stuff. And I've switched to a slightly more robust stirring stick because I can feel that the bottom hasn't really been mixed in. I possibly should have done this one bag at a time, but I'm used to buying the 40 kilo bags and each one of those was 20 kilos. So I just figured I'd go for it. And that was more of a reaction than I've seen with other times I've slaked lime. So I was a bit surprised, but it's definitely doing what it needs to do. As long as I can stir up the stuff on the bottom, it'll be good. So I'm just gonna carry on doing this. And you'll see me again when I've transferred it to the plastic buckets after it's cooled down. Okay, so I see a lovely looking banister in progress. Over here, I see a lemon that dropped on my dad's head. And I see some very fine pointing. So if you can give this a generous spray, I'll come back later tonight and give it a good old whack with the wacky brush. And then we'll be done. Sound good? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> So I haven't actually emptied the lime yet. It's still really toasty, so it'll take a while to cool down. So I'll leave it overnight. Plus I have to find some empty buckets as well. I'm trying to consolidate these two buckets. So I've got most of the old lime in this one here, and then I just need to empty out that one. And hopefully most of that fits in here, but I have a feeling I might need another one. So. I'll figure that out, do it another day. It can sit in that bucket for quite a while as long as I keep it topped up with water. And mom's finished her day pointing. Good day. Good day. <laughs> and dad is down there thinking about banisters. He's made some progress. So we're gonna call it a day on work and you'll see us again in a couple days. We might take the day off tomorrow, we might not, unknown. So we're heading home. So we had the day off yesterday, went into town, got some groceries, picked up some stuff at the hardware store. And in the morning, I ended up doing a bunch of strimming. And I just wanted to share something with you. It's one of the more frustrating parts of living here in Portugal on the land. It's the sacrificial socks. So basically I've been strimming and now this sock is embedded with grass seeds. And these things are brutal. Once you get them in the sock, it's basically done for. So. These things will appear all over my house now, everywhere in the most awkward spots. And they've been traipsed in by my socks and my pant legs. And yeah, they're brutal. They're quite dangerous for animals. They can get stabbed in the paws. Uh, they can get them in their eyes. And it's really good just to keep the grass cut for fire safety, but also for the grass seeds. So I'm happy I got to that. I finished most of the middle terrace and I've got a little bit more to do still, but it was nice to have the day, have the morning to myself to just get down there and get some strimming done. So today we've got a lot on. Let's see what my mom's up to and then take a walk down and see what dad's doing. Weeds. Look, weeds. What is it? Huh? What's in the bucket? Huh? Is that Granny Weeden? Huh? As usual. Yeah, that's a pretty thing. That is so pretty. Are you pretty? Are you all black? He's like, I'm handsome. You're very handsome. Where's Larry? I think he went back in the house. No, he's hiding. So it's looking absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. These are the vines starting to come in again. This grapevine <laughs> seems to be getting out of control really quickly. Yeah. But it's exciting to see some grapes on this one. I think these ones are grapes for eating. Oh, so that's, that's nice. really good. I planted them by the house specifically for that. And then here I have some leftover little plants that I'm gonna to give to my friend. So my mom is a woman on a mission. She's got a few more little tweaks to do. And then will you be happy with this well, provided transformation? Can, provide, see these little ones that you just come out and uh -huh. at like a half an hour a morning, 
and keep this up, or it's just going to be right, right back into the... Well, when it stops raining, it won't be so bad. But I must be vigilant. You must. What's that, Larry? I must be vigilant. Come here. Come on. What are you doing? Why are you running away from me? I know. I know. Yeah. I know. And then over here, I have the lime that I slaked the other day. And it's not looking really good. There's a little, little crust, a little layer on top. And it looks like there's about maybe five centimeters of water over top the entire thing. So in theory, this should stay forever. As long as you keep a layer of water over it, it's great. But I'm going to transfer this lime into these two buckets. And then this bucket is the old lime, which I'm going to use very soon on my shower and on plastering the inside of the cupboard. Slaking the lime is something I've been meaning to do for ages, but I just haven't been able to find the time. So now that I've had all this help and everything's been moving along, I was able to eke out the time and get it done. And now that lime can sit in buckets basically for, I think up to four months. You want to leave it for at least four months before using it. It gets stickier and better somehow. I don't know how, but that's what the internet tells me. Hello there. It's hard at work. We picked up a few things at the hardware store yesterday that I think he needs to carry on with the banister and put some final pieces in place before the deck is all finished. So I'm going to leave you to it and we'll check in again with the great reveal once I have the swimming pool filled up as well. So it's all going well so far? Yep. All right. And I'm going to get on with, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do some tidying and possibly some prep and staging so that I can get to work on the tool shed foundation very soon. So we're all going to carry on with the work on our own little jobs and I'll check in again later on today with the final results. But first, what are we thinking about Tracy the trumpet? Well, all these leaves have come back so they look good. The leaves are looking great. We the, flowers, the flowers, but I think they'll come back. The flowers have dropped off. And we have a new one here. And we have some new life over here, which is yeah. very exciting. So. I really think though we should just cut that one off. Okay, do what you feel. Yeah. So far, your trumpet flower instincts have been very good. Yeah. So she's looking good and we'll keep you posted. But I'm really, really amazed, amazed <laughs> and impressed. So my parents' trip is winding down, and I didn't realize that today might be my mom's last day on the land. So we're getting the deck and the pool all set up. The pool is filling now. I'm going to inflate the ring, and we'll get some nice photos from down there. Not sure what my dad's doing. Doing some research about my crappy Makita jigsaw to see if it really should be that crappy because it sucks. So things are winding down. I still haven't gotten to this polytunnel, but I'm hoping to tidy it at some point just in time for your departure. Yeah, next time get it <laughs> up before we come so we can find stuff. Yes, father. <laughs> what are you up to now? I'm looking at this Makita jigsaw thing that I'm not really happy with. The Makita tools are good, the cordless tools are very good, but this particular jigsaw is, doesn't get my stamp of approval. Hey, yeah. There we go. <laughs> So he's investigating that, and Mum is down here taking care of the final weeds. So she's gone to town on the side of the hill. It's a wall of weeds. Wall of weeds. Wall of weeds no more. Wall of weeds be gone. And she's taking up mountain climbing. Let's maybe <laughs> calm down. <laughs> I think that's the neighbors. <laughs> Maybe. Oh Let's just say it is so that you don't end up scaling the wall. Oh, All right. You've had lots of weed pulling training, so this is the culmination. <laughs> All right. Some off-road weeding right there. How's, how's it been? This is your last day, you yeah, think? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah. I, well, I'd like to get this done and that's it. And didn't get the upper patio done, but it's good. Good. What a difference down here. Yeah, it's amazing. Clean it up. 
and the deck and the pool. And you've got grapes coming up after we cleaned that all up. A little tiny, yeah, the grapes. Starting again. Coming back to life. So everything's looking incredible. I can't wait to give everyone a big tour around the place and compare it to what it looked like before. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. And we still have <laughs> Uh, some fun times ahead. We're gonna have a get together on Sunday and my dad will be back down here as well to do a few small bits Bits and bobs and later on today. We'll go down to Sanchez and take a look at her place. So yeah, that'll be good It's been really fun been a really really social trip and yeah, I'm very and you, maybe you'll here. see me on the donut later Yeah, my mom's gonna be blowing up the uh, inflatable ring as well So I better start soon get going get going on that <laughs> Yeah. All right, so yeah, do that. loads happening, loads of weeds obliterated, lots of fun has been had, and it's been another amazing trip. So my dad finally got sick of waiting for me to make this window. It's been an idea in my head. I've pulled some stones out of the wall, but for two and a half years, it's basically been in the same sorry state, but he finally did it. He made me a window, and I gotta say, it's pretty exciting. What do you guys, what do you think, Mom? Yeah. I love it. I yeah? love it. The flowers love it. Yeah? For all the viewers that have been sick hearing about this window and seeing that tap for all the years, I think uh, it's a beautiful we came window. up with a good solution. It's great, it's cheap, it's fast, it's yeah. even portable. And it looks good. And I'm not gonna say, I don't think it lets enough light in, but I think it's a good start and we can go from there, so. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Drum roll, please. Here it is. In all its glory. <laughs> <laughs> the window. The window. It's got a beautiful plant in it. What kind of flowers are those, Dad? It's a daisy. It's a daisy. It's lovely. Crossed with a sunflower. <laughs> My favorites. Do you want to open it up? Let some air in. <laughs> all right, there we go. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> We've been rumbled. <laughs> all right, well. You had them all fooled. <laughs> it was a good effort anyway. It's lovely. <laughs> I think so too. Thanks, Dad. All right, see you. <laughs> so we're having the final rest, the final beers on the land. Mum, I'm going to take over blowing up the donuts. We've got the octopus, the pool is filling, and then we're gonna head down there and do a big reveal. But first, done? <laughs> no, I can still go. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay, Let's see how, how much wind you've got. <laughs> Plenty. Oh, I lasted longer than that. <laughs> I'm sure this is riveting viewing. <laughs> to be continued. Okay, the pool is ready. Here's the deck. It's amazing. Cheers to a happy summer on your deck and pool. Thank you. Thanks for all your hard work. It's been wonderful having you as always. Mm -hmm. And if it was a little warmer, I'd have done the plunge. Yeah, we're not <laughs> quite brave enough to get in there just yet, no but chance. we had to get everything set up so you I, can see the full effect. I don't want to have a heart attack on, <laughs> on camera. Please now. <laughs> Looks nice, really nice. The weather is stunning. What do you think it's like in Canada? Are you ready to go back? It's going to be a nice weekend, long weekend yeah? this weekend, but. I think rain the day we go back. Well, it's doom and gloom from here on in. But luckily I have this and this. So it'll be much more enjoyable this summer. So I'm going to leave you guys to enjoy your beers. Yep. And I'm going to take a little walk through the garden because the work that my mom and Lisa 
have done has been really amazing. Let's not pay any attention to this area for the moment or that area. These are the parts I've been in charge of, but we've got some beautiful garden beds filled with lots of delicious things, beans, radishes, no, beetroots, carrots. The lime tree is looking a lot better after the aphid invasion. This plum tree is still looking ridiculous. And yeah, just the sawdust on the paths, I think looks really, really cool. It's a total transformation from what was kind of a weedy hellscape before, and now it just looks really nice. So I'm gonna get a hold of more of this black stuff, geotextile fabric. I can get the sawdust a lot more easily than I can get this. Have to go into the big city for that, but just continue coating the past with sawdust on top of the black stuff. And hopefully that keeps the weeds down. Got a little sunflower army here some cucumbers and dill, and the culture bed with the salad stuff and the strawberries is looking really, really amazing as well. So I don't think I've ever said this before, but I feel like I'm actually really looking forward to the summer. I'm excited to see the garden grow, and I'm really excited to hang out on that deck next to that splash pool and just enjoy. Plus, my friend Sinead gets here tomorrow afternoon, and that's gonna be a massive and wonderful change and improvements and it's just going to be a really really fun summer pretty cool space eh yeah it's great all right so we're gonna take a walk down to sanchez place she's eager to show us the work she's been doing so we'll we grab our beers yeah yep. we'll head down i gotta get my shirt and head on down the hill off we go down the stairs got these lovely stairs Ah, uh, super sturdy. Thank you. It's looking lovely. The grass has been strimmed. The grapevines have been liberated. I don't know what the best way is. It's looking lovely. So I didn't get around to properly pruning Sanchez grapes, but we've got a few grapes happening in here. That's exciting. And it's just loads of vines. So I'm hoping we'll have a bumper crop. We've got some more in there. Yeah, because the wine was really delicious this year. So the more grapes, the better. Cheerio, Mikey. Grandpa's away. <laughs> <laughs> and Granny. <laughs> Sinead has arrived, and we've discovered this wonderful burger place. Hello. Hello. Brand new. Since I'm Luca from Hunter Burgers in Very Fundão, nice. Portugal. And I spotted that he has French's mustard oh, over there. Oh, yes. French mustard so, here. This guy knows his stuff. Smash burgers. This guy knows his stuff. That's yeah, the you know, quality is the best. Quality is good. So yes, it's I'm the really... more important thing. Wow. Exactly. The quality of your product. Uh, welcome all to appreciate your smash burgers and uh, burgers, artisanal burgers. All welcome. It looks delicious. We're gonna give it a try uh, now. All okay. right. Thank you. Thank you. Good enjoy. I will. Thanks. Uh, nice to meet you. Thank you. You too. <laughs> so. We've got Sinead here, we've got Sancho here. It has begun. <laughs> continued, continued. <laughs> continued. And this looks like a fabulous burger. Mm -hmm. These look like some pretty good onion rings. I'm excited about the mustard. He gave me some extra stuff. Veggie burger. We've got a veggie burger over here. Bacon burger. Beautiful day, beautiful Goodness setting. Everyone. 
<laughs> said. Caters to everyone. Caters to everyone's needs. Mm -hmm. And it's a gorgeous day in Fundao. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited to eat, but I'm very excited to have these two ladies here <laughs> doing weird things. <laughs> Your hand should have done that. Oh. <laughs> there you go. What if you do it at the same time as I'm in this? No, that's together. Wow. Okay, go. <laughs> it's this a lot. all sorts of weird. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> It's an incredibly beautiful day. I'm up at my parents' accommodation at Quinta de Barraquina. We've got a party of people coming for a Mexican feast. And my dad is still working. I'm plugging away, you know. We're all having fun at the party and look at poor wee Sundar fella. I have a feeling you'll be having fun later on as well. So we've got some Akita tools that are on the fritz. The switch is broken, the spring is missing. But oh. there's a new solution. <laughs> the spring sprung. The spring sprung somewhere. Just just after, just after I had said, I better take this inside because if I lose the spring in these stones, I'll never find it again. And then Boing. within a minute it went. <laughs> so we're going we're going buttonless, we're just gonna go with that. Okay, cool. And then battery in, light on, battery out, light off. Yeah. Perfect. And the Hoover? Yeah, no, I think that's going to be all right. All right. Oh, no, I need the battery for that. Okay. I think that's, that's what the tape was for. Amazing. Maybe. An amazing result. Thanks very much. So, these lovely ladies are awaiting the guests to arrive. Looking very snazzy. Thank you. Sinead is back. Hello. And as a welcome guest. <laughs> Would you like to try these olives that I haven't actually tried? Nothing makes tried. me happier than trying an olive in the face of the Are they under the, the bed the olives or just cupboard olives? These are cupboard olives. Oh, okay. Here, let me help you. <laughs> no, you first, you first. <laughs> and then I can check your face out. Okay. <laughs> it really could be horrific. Horrific? Not horrific. Oh. Not horrific. Not horrific at all. Oh, okay. Oh, this is very exciting. Mmm. I can taste the gar the garlic. Mmm. <laughs> Quite garlicky. A little bit tangy. Mmm. But nice. But not horrific. No. no not horrific. Right. Come on. May I? Let's see. Mmm. Let me... Not horrific. Come hither. Taste the olives. Taste the olives. I'll hold the jar. You can okay. spoon it out. How come they've got little brown spots on them? No one knows. Mm -hmm. I don't oh, like the brown right, spots. Not terrible? Better than last year. Really? I think so too. Mm -hmm. So I have a whole bunch of other uh, recipes I've experimented with. So it'll be interesting. I to like those. Okay. I'll have another one. Get in there. I just don't like the brown spots though. I think it just mm -hmm. happens. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right. Excellent. I'll have to put some out. Yeah. I can always when she was coming up for lunch. Hi everybody. What do you think of the deck? Beautiful. The deck is amazing. amazing. What do you think of my dad's deck? I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit overcrowded, I think. It's making me collapse. <laughs> That's I think it's okay. It's a we, we're testing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, thanks for coming and You're testing out the number of people the deck will hold. Looks like we're pushing it to capacity. Yeah. Do the jump test. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do Everybody some dancing. Jump. Everybody it's jump. It's pretty sturdy. We'll, do some, we'll do some Irish dancing afterwards. Yeah. But yeah, it's lovely. And yeah. And then this is the view. And it's pretty awesome. Yeah, look at that Thanks, Dad. That's lovely. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> Make sure that's in there. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap the video up there with what will be one of many fun gatherings on the deck. I've already had people over in the evening. We've set up some solar lights. The space is just great. There's a lawn chair. The pool is amazing. And though it's windy out, 
the weather is getting very, very hot and it's definitely taking a turn. I think it's going to be 35 degrees in the coming weeks. So that's craziness and I'm so happy to have this great space and the splash pool. So a big thanks to my dad for that again. And also we've got some amazing things growing in the garden. I'm about to go pick a lettuce and enjoy a lovely salad later on. So thanks mom for all your hard work as well. I'm really lucky that you're able to come help me and interested in my lifestyle here. And so just a big thanks again to you and sending lots of love. But enough of that, I'm babbling on as usual. I am gonna say goodbye from this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like give it a subscribe and if you enjoy my parents visits I've made a big playlist up here for you which has all their visits from across I think four trips now so lots of fun times and you can go back to the very beginning to see what the place looked like when they first got here so I'm gonna get out of the wind and get on with my day I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one